Hi, I'm Millie Davenport, a horticulture extension agent with the Clemson University Home and Garden Information Center. Today we're going to take a look at lichens. At the Home and Garden Information Center, we get lots of calls from people who believe that lichens are killing their trees and shrubs. The good news is, is that these lichens are not harming their plants in any way. Instead, they are taking advantage of a spot that just happens to receive adequate sunlight. Now it is true that lichens are often found growing on ailing plants, which makes it hard to believe that they're not to blame for their decline. But if you do take a look at trees growing throughout the forest, you will see that they're often found just growing on healthy trees in those areas. Now if we take a look at this paper bush shrub, you will see that it has very thin foliage and that creates an environment where sunlight is going to move into these inner branches. It's an ideal environment for lichens to move in. Um, however, it is a sign that this plant is um, performing poorly and they need to look at the culture and see what needs to be changed to uh, thicken up the foliage on this plant to get the lichens to go away. Lichens are not parasites and they don't cause any harm to trees or shrubs in any way. In fact, when you're out on a nature walk, you can find them growing in some unusual places like on stone structures of arbors, wooden areas on arbors, uh, park benches, or even on rocks. Lichens are plant-like organisms. Um, they aren't a moss and they aren't a plant. In fact, they're actually an alga and a fungus growing together in the same body in a symbiotic relationship. The fungus provides the structure to the lichen and the alga provides the food through photosynthesis. There are many different species of lichens and those lichens are divided up into four primary groups according to their body type. Uh, first we have the foliose group and the foliose group is a two-dimensional type lichen. It has a very lobed leafy appearance to it. And then there is the fruticose group and the fruticose group is a very three-dimensional, very shrubby and highly branched type lichen. It looks like a little shrub. And there's the crustose group. Um, that one is very tightly held um, to, the, to whatever surface it's growing on, whether it's a rock or a tree, and it's kind of scaly in appearance. And then there's the squamulose group, and that one's kind of a mixture of the foliose and crustose group together. Lichens need three basic things to become established. One, they need an undisturbed area to become established. Two, they need enough time. And three, they need clean air. If you find that you have a large population of lichens on trees and shrubs in your landscape and you would like to reduce those, um, certainly by improving the health of those trees and shrubs, you're gonna help to reduce the lichen population and they will start to go away. In general, uh, trees and shrubs need to make sure they have good drainage, uh, the right amount of sunlight, and proper nutrition. For information on your specific plant species, you can find growing details plant by plant on our website at www.clemson.edu forward slash HGIC. For more information on gardening, landscaping, insect and disease problems on your plant, visit the Home and Garden Information Center website at www.clemson.edu slash HGIC.